Ken Griffey Jr. wasn't just any ball player. He was a true game changer, a phenomenon, and a force to be reckoned with. With a stunning 630 career home runs and a record-setting 99.3% of votes in his first year of eligibility, Ken Griffey Jr. solidified his place as one of the most exceptional players of all time in the Baseball Hall of Fame, making him one of the most dominant players on the diamond. But he wasn't just a numbers guy. His style, charisma, and love for the game made him an instant fan favorite and an unforgettable icon. So get ready to witness the magic of a legend of the 90s, Ken Griffey Jr., and be amazed by his unparalleled once-in-a-generation talent both on and off the field. Before we kick off this story about one of the greatest outfielders to ever grace the field, let's take a nostalgic trip down memory lane. You see, before destiny worked its magic, there was a young King Griffey Jr. who was destined for greatness, and being the son of King Griffey Sr., Ken Jr. had baseball in his DNA. When he was just six years old, his family packed up and moved to Cincinnati, Ohio, where he began playing organized baseball. With his dad as his coach, Ken Jr. quickly became a standout player on the field, and he was a natural. But the Griffey family was not done with their moving just yet. When Ken Jr. was a teenager, they uprooted and moved once again, this time to the sunny state of Florida. Despite the changes, Ken Jr.'s love for baseball never wavered. In fact, he played so well in high school that he was named the State High School Player of the Year not once, but twice. Talk about a future star in the making. But little did Ken Jr. know that even greater things were in store for him. When it came time for college, Ken Jr. decided to take a bold move and skip out on the traditional college route. Instead, he took a leap of faith and went straight to the big leagues and trust it to have paid off. In the 1987 MLB draft, the Seattle Mariners selected him as the first overall pick, offering him a whopping signing bonus of $160,000. Within days, Ken Jr. joined the Bellingham Mariners of the Northwest League, making his professional debut that same month. And he didn't disappoint. In just 54 games, he had an impressive 313 hits, 14 homers, 40 RBIs, and 13 steals. He was so outstanding that Baseball America named him the league's number one major league prospect. The following year, Ken Jr. moved up to the San Bernardino Spirit, where he continued to dominate the field. In just 58 games, he batted a jaw-dropping 338 and hit 11 homers, drove in 42 runs, and swiped a remarkable 32 bases. But wait, there's more. He soon was promoted to the Vermont Mariners of the Class AA Eastern League, where he hit 279 with two more homers and 10 RBIs in just 17 games. By 1989, Ken Jr. was back with the Seattle Mariners and already making waves as a promising talent. But it wasn't until the 1990 All-Star Game that he truly made his mark on the game. That's right, destiny was about to manifest itself. This game proved to be a turning point for Ken Jr.'s career, as he showed the world that he was not just a promising talent, but one of the most fearsome sluggers in the game. And the hits just kept on coming. That same year, Ken Jr. won his first of 10 gold gloves with an impressive 300 batting average, 22 home runs, and 80 RBIs, solidifying his status as one of the top sluggers in the game. But he was far from finished. Season after season, Ken Jr. continued to amaze us with his meticulous skill and abilities on the field. He put on a show for the Seattle Mariners before eventually joining the Cincinnati Reds in 2000. But let's not forget about the other electrifying moments in Ken Jr.'s career, like the American League Division Series between the Mariners and the Yankees in 1995. Ken Jr. led his team down two games during the league game, and they were on the brink of elimination. But did they give up? No way! They clawed back to win the next two games and set up a thrilling winner-take-all Game 5. Wondering how all this was possible? Here's how. Ken Jr. was on first base in the bottom of the 11th inning, and his teammate Edgar Martinez was at the plate, and the tension was widely palpable. And then, crack! Martinez hit a double, and Ken Jr. took off like a rocket. He raced around the bases and slid into home plate with the winning run, sending the Seattle crowd into a frenzy. Ken Jr.'s teammates swarmed him, and the whole scene was like something out of a movie. But the drama didn't end there. It turns out that Ken Jr. had some extra motivation to beat the Yankees, because back when Ken Jr. was a kid visiting his dad in the Yankee clubhouse, the Yankee manager, Billy Martin, would kick him out, thinking that children didn't belong there. And to make matters worse, Ken's dad, Griffey Sr., 
had played for the Yankees and had allegedly been mistreated by the team. So when Ken Jr. said that he would never play for the Yankees, it's easy to see why. But even though the Mariners lost to the Cleveland Indians in the ALCS, that moment when Ken scored the winning run remains one of the most unforgettable moments in the Mariners' history. In fact, it's said that the team's playoff run that year helped to save baseball in Seattle and paved the way for the construction of the incredible Safeco Field Stadium. It's no surprise that this iconic play inspired the creation of the Super NES game title Ken Griffey Jr.'s winning run. Talk about a game changer, both on and off the field. Sadly, in 2010, after an impressive 22-year career in baseball, Ken Jr. decided to hang up his cleats and retire from the game. However, his passion for baseball never faded away. Now, let's take a moment to acknowledge his incredible achievements throughout his career. With an impressive 630 home runs, 2,781 hits, and a lifetime batting average of 284, Ken Jr. was undoubtedly one of the greatest players to ever step on the field. He was selected to the All-Star team a whopping 13 times, won the Silver Slugger Award seven times, and even earned the title of American League MVP in 1997. And that's not all. He was a four-time home run leader and was named to the All-Century team in 1999. And although he got impressive numbers, that's not all there is to him. Ken Jr.'s love for the game of baseball is absolutely contagious. When he's out on the field, you can feel his energy and enthusiasm from a mile away. In fact, his passion for baseball is so strong that he came out of retirement in 2011 to join the Seattle Mariners as a special consultant. With his wealth of knowledge and experience, Ken Jr. quickly got to work helping the team's hitters improve their game. But that's not all. Ken Jr. also served as an ambassador for the Mariners, using his star power to support various events and functions. He's the kind of guy who's always looking for ways to give back and inspire others. Now, we won't pretend that Ken Jr.'s journey has been easy. He's faced his fair share of health issues, including a nasty bout of pneumonia that landed him in the hospital for an extended period of time. But through it all, Ken Jr. has remained a true inspiration to baseball fans worldwide. And even after retiring, Ken Jr. continued to pursue his passions. He discovered a love for photography and even become a mentor to young players, sharing his experiences and knowledge to help guide the next generation of baseball stars. And in 2016, he reached the pinnacle of his baseball journey when he was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in his very first year of eligibility. That's like hitting a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth with two outs. This remarkable achievement solidified Ken's legendary status and his name will forever be etched in the annals of baseball history. And to add another feather to his cap, in October 2021, Ken Jr. joined the Seattle Mariners ownership group, becoming the first former player to become a partner in the team. Talk about an impressive career trajectory. Now, to answer the question about how good he was, exceptionally good. Ken Griffey Jr. was not just a player. He was a superstar who electrified the game with his remarkable skill, talent, and passion. He indeed left an indelible mark on baseball and will always be remembered as one of the game's greatest legends. So, what do you think? Was he really that good? Or do you think he could have done better? Let us know in the comments section. Well, that's the tale of how good this legend of the 90s, Ken Griffey Jr. was. And until next time, don't stop swinging for the fences.